Hello, my name is Margaret Wong and I'm a practicing immigration lawyer. I'm introducing you to my video series about how to become a great, great immigration lawyer. You're probably interested in learning how to become an immigration lawyer or how to advocate for people who have no papers in America. There are more than 15, 20 million people. You may be asking myself, what do I need to do to follow the path of helping people? helping people without papers. And what do I expect? What companies should I work for? What books should I read? And what materials do I need? I've heard these and many, many questions in my six years of teaching immigration law in Case Western University Law School. And it's in these and more that I'll go through this series. Before we get to that, I'd like to also tell you, me and myself, I came with nothing. I came to America in 69 with $168 in my pocket and a little sister. She speaks better English than I am and she She's 100 times smarter than I am. And we went to school in an all-girls Catholic Ottawa Heights College. Cecilia and I work in a school cafeteria. We service all the girls and the nuns every morning, seven days a week for breakfast. This is important because the first job really controls your sort of destiny and whatever you do in America because life is so new. I went through anxieties, depressions, but here I am. I'm very, very successful. I'd like to work with you and maybe to give you a little bit of my wisdom on how I get here to advocate for people who have no papers. So from there, we went to the law school. I worked in a vegetarian hotel in the Catskills in New York. That's where all the Jewish people in the 60s and 70s vacation. If you remember in those days, the Jewish people were also discriminated. So there was a time that all of us were different. Now it's more the Latino people because of our current administration. And when I became a lawyer and after I moved to Cleveland, I worked quite a few jobs. I never had a dream. I didn't have a dream because in those days there's no Google. I didn't know what I need to do. I needed to work to put food on my table and support my poor family back home in Hong Kong. But after being fired three or four times, I I started my own law firm and by luck I got into immigration law because in those days nobody does it. But through the years I became better and better and better. And through the years I also got married and I have two children. Now that I'm approaching 68 years old in July, my birthday, I tell myself, what's my legacy? What do I want to do as I get older? How many more years do I have to help and to work and to survive? And this is my gift to myself, to the Catholic sisters who have helped me and supported me through the years, to my family and to my colleagues and all my friends and all my clients, hundreds and thousands of people who have helped me when I was a young lawyer and now that I'm getting older, give me their cases. What an honor to represent all these people through the years.